Okay, welcome back to more of Ocarina of Power. And, uh, this part should be able to get through level 7. And level 8 is, is its own part because that's actually a pretty large level. Level 7 actually takes a little while to go through as well, just because there's lots of rooms. I wonder if I should just buy super bombs right now, just to empty out the wallet space. And you really only need one. I'm just gonna buy as many as I can. Which I think it's four. I mean, there's a weird formula with how this works. I mean, initially you can carry. Two supers, and in every expansion, uh, it lets you carry two more super bombs. It's kind of an odd formula. Uh, now, before you go into the level itself, yes, yeah, one of these cases you actually do want to look. Uh, around the armor statues. Actually, there was another one like in uh, where the magic sword is that gave you another piece of heart. So you kind of kind of have to explore a little bit to make sure you find everything. Yeah, this level has a lot of walk through walls. Finally getting whiz robes. And invisible walls are just there to annoy you. I don't like not big deal. Can't go left at first, but okay, we can go right. Yeah, good thing for Master Sword, it just does a lot better at cleaning up whiz robes. This is kind of an odd room, because it doesn't look like you can go anywhere, but if you actually go down, it leads you to the same room. <coughs> Interesting how he cycles that. Uh, you 
actually do have to go left first, or, or right. Now in this room, uh, make sure you're below this line when you take out the like like. Because uh, those stairs take you back to the start. I figured out how to move the blocks on the bottom of the room, but it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna be going left anyway. Suspicious then. Let me get the lens of truth. And this is technically what you use to cross that desert, but. I think I might have explained it in a sample, one of my test videos, and the lens doesn't work there. I'll probably show it again. <clears throat> it's probably like a ZC, ZC conversion error, and the 2.5 doesn't work in that way. Okay, uh, lens of truth. In this case, uh, it drains rupees, so it's not free to use, and it drains it pretty fast. Try to avoid using that as much as possible. Since most of these rooms are just invisible walls. I mean, I think even if they were spiked, they wouldn't be an issue. Because I have boots already. That, would, that, that should protect me from all the floor hazards. Tricky to get. Yeah, just very bulky for rooms to explore. Just do this with a lot of trial and error. And blue lane below in this room. Yeah, you really aren't supposed to have the wand, but since I have it, might as well use it. It's a good backup weapon on. Against land molas. Yeah, the lens might help a little bit just so you can see where you're going or where the obstacles are. Let's 
So you have to be at least, I think, two tiles away to stun Wizrobes with this. a little pattern with these these types of rooms pretty much makes like the most convoluted path you can think of so just kind of a zigzag as much as possible because that's how you usually get through these rooms careful of this room I can actually get myself stuck if I get a clock in here so I'm just try to take him out slowly. Alright, fire boomerang! You know, I'm surprised you actually put this into this quest. Good timing for this clock, oh man. Guys, you can see how painful this heart piece can be to get. Uh, probably the best way to get it, if you didn't get a clock, um, you have to kind of draw the traps out, and then pretty much uh, use your candle and just boost into the heart piece. Uh, that should minimize the amount of damage you take, because there's pretty much no way to get that without taking at least a couple of trap hits. Just no room to maneuver in there. You're noticing there's no ladder. You know, you're using the hookshot a lot more. And again, if you look at the quest description page, and you'll see what items are not in this. Okay, this room's a little mean. If you look at the left side, on the border, uh, you want to make sure you're inside that border when you take out the last enemy. get it down to the bats and stuff and then just maneuver your way to the left side here. Yeah, because if you're not in here, uh, you're gonna have to go back a few rooms to respawn all the enemies. Sort of a mean trick there. Wouldn't, would not have been as bad if he had actually put instant enemy respawn in that room. One of these cases where instant enemy respawn wouldn't be a bad idea. bother with those stairs, they actually take you all the way back to the start. Yeah, 
actually haven't seen a Dig Dogger before yet. big an issue. I mean, I kind of got a little lazy usually use my boomerang. It's only two more heart pieces. One's gonna be in level 8, and the other one's towards the end. Alright, so level 8 is going to take quite a while to go through. That's a pretty much a big map. Really no shortcuts there. You just, it's almost like an enemy gauntlet of sorts. Okay, so we'll leave that for the next part. And we'll be going through level 8 next. Alright, see you guys later.